Guys, I'm gonna take you through one of my back workouts. I'm calling this one my planes of motion back workout. And it's really based on how I go about putting back workouts together and what, I, what I'm really thinking about, the thought process that goes behind putting together a back workout. So when I'm talking about planes of motion, I'm talking about the different planes of motion that the muscles in your back operate in. So we really have three main planes of motion. The first one is vertical. So we're talking about pulling something down towards your body or pulling your body up towards something in the vertical plane. We then have the horizontal plane, which is about pulling something in towards your body, like a row, or pulling your body in towards something. That's the horizontal plane. And then we have a combination of the two, which is half vertical, half horizontal, and we call that the pullover plane, which is, of course, your, your pullover type movements. The second thing that I try and incorporate when I'm putting together back workouts are varying grip positions. So we know when we grip a piece of apparatus or a dumbbell or a barbell, we can take either a narrow grip or a wide grip and for each of those narrow and wide grips we can have a neutral grip where our hands our palms are facing in towards each other we can have an overhand grip where our palms are facing down or we can have an underhand grip where our palms are facing up and each of those different grip variations are going to slightly change the muscles in the back that are activating throughout a particular movement so when i go to putting together a back workout i make sure that i'm hitting exercises that are hitting at least every single plane of motion and are incorporating a bunch of different grip variations. And you guys are gonna see that play out in this back workout. Let's go. So this back workout, guys, I'm gonna hit five exercises and two supersets. I'm gonna start with a pull down movement. I've got a neutral close grip pull down going down for this exercise, number one. Couple of tips and tricks for really any pull down, but this one in particular. You wanna think about driving the weight with your elbows, not with your hands. I'm using TMJ Apparel Elite Lifting Straps, so it kind of takes my grip completely out of it. And I'm really focusing my mind muscle connection on engaging my lats and driving with my elbows. Then we move on to exercise number two. So I like to go pull down, pull up, row, pull down, pull up, row, pull over. That's generally how I structure my back workout. So this exercise number two is a row superset. So I'm gonna superset overhand grip barbell rows with underhand grip barbell rows. And you guys are gonna see how this plays out. Once again, the mind-muscle connection is on driving with the elbows. And with any rowing movement, you really wanna focus on trying to pull your elbows as far as you possibly can back behind your torso for maximum lat and rhomboid engagement. So you guys can see the superset going down right here. I rack the weight, I keep the weight exactly the same, and I flip my grip from overhand to underhand grip and then repeat the exact same movement. So it's, it's still a standing bent over barbell row, it's just the difference in the grip that allows me to hit different parts of my back. But once again, driving with those elbows, trying to pull the elbows back behind my torso as far as I possibly can for maximum lat engagement. Got five working supersets here, taking them to complete failure. And then we go back to a pull up, or a, as I mentioned in the intro, a vertical plane of motion back movement. So I'm gonna go overhand wide grip pull ups for this third exercise. I'm gonna go five working sets, and I'm gonna take them to failure. You guys will notice I'm doing this assisted. So I use the assisted machine to make sure that I'm really able to engage my lats in particular, my rhomboids and my traps without having to worry about moving my entire body weight and losing form in the process. So I'm squeezing through my lats. I start the, the beginning of the motion with a retraction of my scapula so you can see my lats are on the entire time and then I'm squeezing through my lats, through my rhomboids and right up into my traps at the top of each and every rep. It's a little bit difficult to focus on driving with your elbows when you're doing a pull-up motion like this. So I like to switch my mind-muscle connection from driving with my elbows to squeezing as possibly hard as I can through the different parts of my back as I pull myself through each phase of those pull-ups. And then we go back to a rowing movement. So exercise number five, neutral wide grip cable row. So you guys can see, as I mentioned in the intro, I'm using a bunch of different grip variations during this back workout. I'm trying to hit as many different grip variations as I can to hit as many different parts of my back 
as I can. You guys will notice with this one, my feet are flat on the floor, which means my form is gonna stay in check. I'm not gonna be swinging and bringing in lower back and hips and different muscles that I don't wanna recruit using this exercise. So the feet are flat on the floor, drive them with the elbows each and every rep, five working sets, extended hypertrophy. And then we're gonna finish this back workout off with another superset. This is gonna be a vertical plus horizontal plane of motion superset. So I'm gonna superset mutual wide grip pull downs with rope cable pullovers. So the first part of the superset, the neutral wide grip pull downs. Once again, you can see my scapula is retracted the entire time. My lats do not come off at all. They're on as soon as I start moving that weight. I'm driving through my elbows and I'm squeezing as hard as I possibly can at the top of each and every rep through my lats, through my rhomboids, and even through my traps. And then I'm gonna hit the superset part, which is gonna be your rope cable pullovers after I take those pull downs to failure. And with the rope cable pullovers, this is super important. I see a lot of people mess this exercise up, but particularly because they start to bring triceps in because their angle between their upper arm and their forearm or the angle that their elbow makes changes. So if you can keep that angle exactly the same, focus on driving through your elbows and really making sure that you're squeezing your lats through each and every rep, that's gonna make sure that the tension stays in your lats and out of your triceps, which is where you want it when you're training back. So I'm gonna take this to failure as well. I've got five working supersets to finish this back workout off, working up in weight and down in reps. And that's a wrap for my planes of motion back workout. I hope it gives you guys some insight into how I put my back workouts together and some little tips and tricks that you can incorporate in putting your back workouts together to make sure you're stimulating the most amount of muscle growth through your back muscles. Guys, if you have any muscle groups that you'd like to see me train in the next episode of The Pump, post a comment down below. Let me know what you need some tips and tricks and some advice on. Also, if you give this workout a shot, I'm actually gonna post the entire workout with the rep and set scheme in the, in, the, in the instruction box down below so you guys can go on, put this workout to the test. And if you do so, drop a comment and let me know how you found it. Guys, as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Turn your post notifications on on whatever device you're watching this video on. Until next time, I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com. Stay massive. Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.